Yes, so we have completed the arena. Let's warp back. It is time to finish. We are in the home stretch. Mmm, zombies. Zombie, 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 zombie. Zombie, 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 zombie. Brains. Zombie, zombie. What? Zombie proof cave? Oh. Oh, shaman. It's that dude from the very beginning of chapter one who was all off by himself who wouldn't talk to us. Oh. But it's you, because the Canonia shaman, he went away and we can't find him and he disappeared. But that's because we killed him, but let's not tell him that. Oh, but we need you to fly so we can get up into the saucer, but I can't do that. However, I can. I can transport you through teleportation there. Unfortunately, it's a one-way trip. Ah, so we have to go. All of us, we agree. One way to our doom. We can't go back. We've done all the side quests. Let's go. Teleport. Dun dun dun, we're here! We are on Morik's Battle Cruiser. It's very high tech, based on random battles, but I'm going to be skipping all of them. Let's go! Tally ho! God, I don't know why this is lagging so bad. I even refreshed multiple times. I've done all of this stuff. There should be. Uh, this is the wrong way, though, if I remember. Crap. Yeah, I think that's the wrong way. Anyway, because we leveled up so much, um, we're really high level compared to all this stuff. I don't know how that actually happened, but it did, so we're pretty high level. And that's what all the treasure chests look like in uh, on Mork's Battle Cruiser. So, you just keep an eye out for these. Uh, these guys won't attack you unless you talk to them, so... Obviously, don't talk to them. It's very simple. Uh, it's a crystal, it'll tell you some information that there are six of them on the ship, and they control the ship, and they do all this stuff. Actually, I'll show off the next one. I just want to show off one of those. Um, one of these random encounters. Just so that I can show off what the enemies are in this area. You guys want to see what those are, don't you? I'm sure you do. I am sure you do. Oh, my crap, I just went through reflexes and just and closed it out. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, escape pods. It's locked. We can't get through the escape pods. All right, here we go. I'll show off this battle. Security orb and zombies. Security orb, go boom. Zombie burn. Bye bye, zombie. Uh, this isn't quite the same as if you um, attack one of those other guys. I'll do that also, just to show it off. Wow. Yeah, most of the um, the prizes and stuff in here are uh, Phoenix Downs and Holy Water. Lots and lots of Phoenix Downs and Holy Water. All right, I'll fight this guy and show off. Show off. Oh, intruder on the Droma. Droma security systems. So we have two security orbs and a Droma. Basically. And that's what we have to deal with. Um, I don't know what they're actually weak against. So we'll just use flame. Why not? Eh, that didn't work very well. But, you know, everything else works well, so doesn't really matter. And we're like super leveled compared to all this stuff. I honestly, I seriously, I swear, I don't know how we got so high level compared to A, the game I just played yesterday of running through this entire game, and B, uh, compared to like the enemies. But apparently we did, so, you know, we'll just take that and say thank you. Uh, so, what? Is that a fake one? That looked like a... What? I'm so confused. Where is there another... How do I get to the... I'm 
I'm so confused. It says that there's another thing up there. Doesn't it? Yeah. It says there's another treasure. But I totally clicked on that and I just walked right through it. I completely walked through it. That doesn't make any sense. I call hacks. A calling of hacks has been made. Uh, ah, I completely missed one all the way back in the beginning. Lame. Move out of the way, security drone. Good, security drone. Thank you for listening. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back and look at that and see what happens. Some kind of computer module. What? What the F? Is there like a secret entrance into it from somewhere else? Yes, computer module, I get that. Uh, okay, so apparently something is just broken in the game, and that's. I distinctly remember getting that chest last time I was there, but for some reason I just walk right through it, so... We're... Morik! Oh, once again! We're coming up on his little area! His secret lair! So he's in a new body! So, yeah, once again, Rolf is trying to convince Morik that he can help him. Morik's like, no, you were an asshole and I need power. So we can't come to terms. No, you're self-righteous. Rah! So yeah. Final battle. It's also, as you can see from my other save files, has taken an hour less time than it took me last time. Oh, what is this? Ah, it's an ancient dragon cyborg defense mechanism. So we have to take it out! Kill it before it kills us! Lightning that shit. Uh, this thing hits hard, but it only hits once. It doesn't have a haste. So, as long as we just keep healing with Marduk, we're fine. Arctic Heal Dugan. Yay! Oh! Ow! Smarted a little bit. No, I went down the lightning bolts. Good! And he's down, looks like about half hit points or something, or under half. I thought he had about 6,000, so he's at 3,000 now, so... Half hit points. I don't know why he's, like, shaking. It's like the guy, it's like the, this, this Dracelon has having convulsions. It's shaking mercilessly. Self. Yay! Healing oneself is fun. Ah, and missing from the enemy is even more fun. God, I love that attack. Okay, once again, lag. Calling of a lag has been made. It's just BS. Ah, oh, Dugan. Finish him! Try that once again. 
finish him. Uh, an elixir. I don't know what that actually does. <laughs> and we're still getting stuff that's being maxed out. Oh, uh, but save once again. Tass's motto, rule number one. After read the instructions, always save. Always save. And we're now final battle. Oh no, he's taken over a super fox's body. Ah ha ha. Ah, oh, it's social. That's what did I say? Something fox? I don't know. What I said it's social fox. Oh, can we actually kill social fox? We love him so much, but it's not actually him. He's dead. His body's been defiled. In fact, he's just Morik. You will all die. Ah. Uh, and this plot sort of goes through that same thing as um, the zombie dragon, I believe. So, yeah. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. But once, or, or not, not the zombie dragon. Actually, sorry. It was the same thing as his last form. Duh. That's what I meant. There. It heals, but breaks. Ah, you've poisoned Zack. Ah, you've poisoned. Oh, too much poison. Ow, that really hurts. But once again, just like uh, if you recall from last time, we explained. I explained. Zombifies! And now all we have to do is just remove the taint. Last time that was the whole problem, is that I didn't have remove taint, and I was all confused, and I'm like, why don't I have remove taint? And it's for that reason, because I didn't have the, uh, the necklace or something that removes taint. But now I have the necklace. Oh, uh, no, you can't kill Zack! God damn it. Killing Zack is just... Zack's the man, but at least he probably isn't poisoned anymore. I shouldn't have done that, I should have just let him get zombied. I should have just let him get zombied instead, but... Um, uh, apparently I can't remove taint on all, which is what I wanted to do. I can heal all, but I wanted to do a, a mass taint removal. <laughs> that just sounds so funny. A mass taint removal. So sort of like the, it was like the zombie dragon fight, uh, um, basically it's, uh, the, the goal is just survival. Survival and then let Zack just do lots and lots of damage. That is the name of this game. It's a very simple game. That didn't actually do anything. That's kind of cool. Um, Except for that. It's, it's, I have something that heals everything, but when I'm cursed, what heals curse? Uh, I don't know. What does Elixir do? Oh, restores all hit points and stuff. That's really cool. Remedy. I need something that removes curse. That doesn't remove curse. Liquid light. Blindness. Holy water. Zombification. Balloon juice. Cured of numbness. Antidote. No. I don't have anything that does it so we're just gonna remedy because that is a cure-all for everything it's my only remedy though but I think other than that I'm okay ow that really hurt but we're all good so he'll now waste a turn bringing her back I just didn't want to wait with Zack see brings her back as a zombie and immediately we Fix her right back up. And look at that, she's no more poison, full health. It's like, brings her back good as new. Better than before. We can rebuild her. We have the technology. Blind, really? Three out of four blind? At least it's not Zack. No, flame. Keep the flame coming. Burning with the flame. Whatevs, hit the Dugan, no big deal. Mardik with the attack! 
Oh, we're almost there. Dugan with the attack. Oh, we're two hit points? Seriously? Two hit points. That is just... That is... I, I gotta call hacks again. Two hit points. Two hit points. Shenanigans. Absolute shenanigans. That's just... So ridiculous. But he's dead anyway. Doesn't really matter. Uh... But maybe we have found our toughest opponent, two dromas. How are we supposed to handle two dromas? They're just so powerful. That's what Zack is for. Zack is a cure-all for everything. There we go, lightning. Lightning works. We have won! We have defeated Morik! Ta-da! Oh, he's done! We are going to trap him forever in a soul transfer, and Marduk can hold on to Morik's soul in a little crystal thingy. Oh, and forever, Morik will not be able to get into another body. Victory! It is ours! A jewel! We can wear him around our neck. Oh, it sucks for Social Fox, but maybe we can, like, you know, pick up his body. We can cremate him, throw his ashes over the, you know, the, the ocean or something, or Lake Kerr. Whatever we want to do. So, let's get out of here. Oh, no! Oh, no, he's... Oh, plot twist! Rolf lets us know that Morik has informed a auto-destruct on the thing. We have ten minutes to get out of here. Run! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! But Zack is still poisoned, so... We definitely still need to save! Save! Oh, we actually, that's right, we can't save. <laughs> we can heal. But we can't save. Uh, oh, and that way it's blocked off, because that's where our escape pod is. So we just have to go down and around. Look at the map. Map is always handy. This is like, ten minutes is way too long. They should give, like, five minutes. Although I guess if you do all the fights, because fighting does count in your time here, so if you stopped and did all of these fights, uh, you definitely could take ten minutes to do all of this stuff. So, I guess that would be like a crappy way to end things. I just still, I really want to try for this. Yay! There we go! It wasn't glitched that time! Oh, but there's three. Yay! We got every treasure in the game! As far as I know. But I'm sure one of you asshole commenters is gonna be like, Eh, you missed one on like stage seven or something eight million years ago. Uh, and if you actually watched this entire LP, please let me know a game that you'd like me to do, and don't let it be Sunny 2 or Marduk 3. I'm aware of those games, pick something else that I can actually do. Don't pick, like, Fantasy Online, or some other game like that that I can't actually work on, or, like, Swords and Potions, or Sacred Seasons 2. I'm not going to do an LP of a grindy, uh, thousand-hour-long MMO. I'm going to do a single-player game. Possibly I would do a double play, uh, a multiplayer game with Mr. Rubix, but it needs to be, like, a legitimate double uh, multiplayer game, not an MMO. Oh, another one of these bots that we have plenty of time to get out of here, but no, the characters say we can't. Not enough time. We actually do have enough time, but no. What are they saying? Dugan, I will stay behind. I will sacrifice myself for the greater good. No, Mardik says, Dugan, you can't do this. No. Dugan says to Mardik, look after Emila. Look after her. Guys, make babies and ta name your baby Dugan. Dugan is staying to fight. This is for all of you, for Belfan. <laughs> it's so sad. But we made our escape into the escape pod. But without Dugan. And the ship goes down. But we are back in front of the king once more. We have saved the day! Not once, but twice! Where is Dugan? He's sorry, king, but he is dead. Oh, that's so a shame. However, we are going to make you official Knights of Gondor. Not Gondor. Gosnor! Very similar to Gondor. Shocking how that works out. Oh, uh, so there you go. You are now Marduk. You have been knighted. You are Sir Marduk. Ha. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, Emma says she wants. She does not want to be knighted. She wants to leave for personal reasons that she doesn't explain. I think she has a yeast infection. And she just doesn't want to let everyone know. It's from swimming around in all that late cur water. It just it, it gets all yeasty up in your girly parts. But she won't tell us. She'll be welcome back forever in the kingdom. And Marduk is all sad that she's leaving. But she has to go. And Zack's contract is up. The mercenary, he leaves. 
Vern, who didn't actually do anything, and he thinks that we have all taken Yalart as our lord and savior, and that's why we're so badass, but it's just because we're badass in general, we were born that way, it's in our DNA or something, but that's what he says, and Vern's going to leave. It's just Emla and Marduk now, so she says she has to go, and she won't say why, and it's like, all emo girlish sort of thing, mm, I kind of like you, but I don't like you, and I'm not going to tell you what I'm going, but I just have to go anyway. So she, she can't tell you, so she's going to leave, and it's setting all of this stuff up for chapter 3 and beyond. Plot twists, cliffhanger endings, oh, she hugs him, I think I just popped Chubb, totally just went from 6 to midnight. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, guys. And she leaves, we're all alone, no Dugan. No Emila, not even Zack or Vern. No Donovan or Sharla either. No Steel, for he died. We are all alone. Rolf understands. He lost, even though he lost Mark and we defeated him, he still feels upset about it. He wish he could have been better. He wish he could have not had to have happened. But, oh, just hint, hint. There are five more of these dudes, I think, three, four, five, no, six more of these dudes if I have the correct number of fingers. So there would be eight chapters, hint, hint, eight chapters if you fight one of these, hint, hint, at the end of every chapter. So you're also a knight and things are awesome, but Dugan is no more, so we say now. Maybe you'll come back, maybe you survived the crash and miraculously escaped. Ooh, evil boss, evil... Morik buddy guys, raw, they are going talking about how it's all upset, but how they didn't like Morik anyway, and how he was creepy, and how they're better than him, and how they could do a better job than him, but who, who knows if that's actually true or not, and they're like, blah, 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 and they're, you know, blah, 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 and this guy says, you know, worthless stuff, and Qualna's all like, I could do much better, so I don't know who's the leader, so he's telling him not to die, but Qualna is going to be the next in line to challenge Rolf and Mardek in Chapter 3. So there you go. That is everything that happens in Mardek Chapter 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had lots of fun playing it. And that was a full hour less time-wise than the last one. It's crazy.